What is up, my Forks for Beginners family? Okay, so today we're going to be downloading MetaTrader 4. Okay, so we're in our back office again. You're at the dashboard. If you're not at the dashboard, just hit top left here, dashboard, and you see a button right here, MetaTrader 4. This by default will download um, Windows-based software. So if you're using a MacBook, um, I have a bit of bad news for MacBook users. Um, Apple updates their software so often that uh, MetaTrader 4, the software that we use for um, trading, um, it's not that compatible with uh, MacBooks because they update their core software all the time and it honestly it's a nightmare. Um, if you have a MacBook you can try to install a um, you know you can have dual boot so you can have Windows and Mac iOS software but uh, if you have a MacBook and you're kind of fixed on using a MacBook then send me a message um, just contact me either in the student group or on Facebook and I might try to give you some uh, workarounds but uh, if you have a Windows based computer I highly recommend using that um, okay so for everyone that's using a Windows based computer uh, just click on download mt4 you get this pop-up just click save uh, depending on your um, your web browser you should see it is downloading somewhere uh, I've downloaded it three times now so that's why it's showing number three but you'll see Hugo's way for setup just click on it you'll get this pop-up click on run you'll see this pop-up in a few seconds and you just want to click next and then it'll start installing the software it's pretty fast just give it a couple seconds and now you can see it says finished click on finish you're gonna get this pop-up um, you can just this is a web browser just close it it just automatically pops up just close it and now we can go to our desktop you should see a Hugo's Way um, MetaTrader 4 uh, shortcut on your desktop now. Just give it a few seconds because after you install it, it automatically starts loading uh, on its own. Okay, so when it opens up, you'll see something like this. And I'll say open an account. We've already created an account, so you can just close this. Anything that pops up, just close it. Uh, so this is MetaTrader 4. Uh, you might see you should see four windows like this if it's your first installation. Um, I'm going to teach you about all of you know all these windows and what they mean uh, right now. Uh, right now it doesn't really matter. Um, you can see there's tabs over here. If you click on alert, um, you'll have nothing kind of shown right now. It also shows right down here. It says no connection is because we haven't connected to uh, the broker's account yet. And that's when um, this is where our uh, trading uh, login information comes in. So what I want you to do is click on file and then go to login to trade account. You're going to have a pop up like this. And now we're going to go to our email. Uh, so we're going to go into our email and this is where this demo account number comes in so we're just going to copy this demo account number so you can highlight it and just go right click and copy and then we're going to go back to our MetaTrader 4 and we're going to paste control V or or you can right click and on your key on your mouse and click paste oops I think I pasted it twice and then password. So we're going to enter a password now. So let's go back to our email and copy. Go back to our trading platform and we're going to pass, paste the password. 
and make sure it says Hugo's Way Demo 3, uh, not Live or Live 3. We're going to be at Hugo's Way Demo 3. We're going to click on Save Account Info and hit Login. So you should hear a little chime um, and some information like that. Um, so what I want you to do now is click on, yeah, so you, you might hear some funny noises when it first logs in. So now click on Trade. You should see an account balance. If you see an account balance, that means you're logged in properly. So $500 was our demo account that we created. Also, if you go down to the bottom right here, You'll see, uh, you'll see some numbers now. It's showing 387 um, slash one kilobit. So it's, it's uh, just telling you data is coming in and going out. You also see some numbers here uh, showing you that we're connected to this server and uh, it'll give some uh, milliseconds information here. So uh, you've successfully logged into your trading account now. Um, you know, I can uh, quickly show you some stuff. So you could just, you know, close this, close this, close this. You can expand that um, and close that. All of this stuff I'm going to show you after. This lesson was just to log in, download and log into your trade account. You can just close all this stuff and see this line right here. You can click it with your mouse and just kind of reduce it. And, uh, you know, I'm going to teach you all this later, but essentially this is uh, what we use to place trades. I can get rid of the grid like that. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, if you want to quickly place a trade, you, you know, you just go to New Order. Um, you can hit Sell. Hit OK. Hit Place to Sell. Uh, this is how you, you click on this and hold your mouse, and this is setting a what we call a stop loss. Um, when you initially um, start the program and you try to set a stop loss, you're going to get this pop-up that says one-click trading. Uh, for now, I want you to because you're a beginner. Uh, I don't want you to. Um, I don't want you to accept this. I want you to just hit cancel. What it does is it, it when you make a trade or you place a trade or you change something about your trade, it it gives you a double um, pop-up to confirm you actually want to do what you're doing. Once you become, you know, more efficient in trading, you can, you know, you can get rid of this uh, second uh, level of authentication before it modifies your order. So yeah, so don't worry about all this. That's how you set a, you know, stop loss. Here's a take profit. Um, we placed a one lot trade. That's actually quite large. Um, we're obviously not going to do that in our demo account, but um, you know, check this out. Our, right now, our our stop loss is set at five hundred and forty-three dollars, and our take profit is at three thousand three hundred eighty-eight dollars. So yeah, so that's a, a large trade. We're not going to do that. Um, I'll quickly show you how to close a trade. So this is just our profit loss as, as price fluctuates. And that's our account balance and that's how much equity we have. This is how you quickly close a trade and that's it. But uh, when we're learning to trade, um, and I'm gonna go through all this in detail, uh, we're gonna select the smallest trade size. So point, 0 0.01 and look at the difference now. So when we set a stop loss now, we're going to be risking, over here it shows we're risking $10. Like I said in the first lesson, we're going to risk $10. And we're going to shoot for making, say, this level here. So, so you can see, uh, if you move your mouse, uh, it shows you there. So this is a $38 take profit. And we're risking... Um, risking $10 to make $30. So that's a 3x return. And uh, that's the name of the game. I want you to learn how to take small trades um, and practice the skill. We have lots to learn. And uh, you can see, you know, you can start off by taking small trades. Eventually you can move into making huge trades and making a huge amount of profit. But 
it all starts with, uh, you know, taking your first trade and uh, learning chart analysis. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson. We have a lot of great content to come and we're just getting started. So I'm really excited and I hope you're excited. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.